whoa, whoa, whoa. DJ John Rip checking in. You know, we all about action. I fuck with EntitledKings.com. You know what's going on. What's up? Already, man. DJ Johnny Rip on the ones and twos. What's going on, my man? Shit, man. Chilling, bro. I'm actually at the nines right now in Deep Ellum, man. We getting ready to kick it off. Got a event called Unicorn Haven with Shoes McGee and a few artists on the ballot. So we just working right now, bro. Man, it's Sunday at 4 o'clock on a Sunday. You yeah. working. Got to, bro. You take a you take a week, two weeks off, a few days off. Shit, motherfuckers forget who you is, man. That's how Dallas is. You gotta stay consistent. Stay consistent, stay working, man. Now your name is ringing bells through all throughout the DF Dub. Mm -hmm. If you hear about DJs, they mention the DJ Johnny Rip. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what inspired you to become a DJ, man. My mom and my dad really inspired me. My mom was a singer. My dad was a singer, but really caught into the category of music in general. You know, used to run the the the, the A tracks in the car back in the gap. I used to ride with him all the time in the south. It came down to the Sundays when he cleaned up the crib, vacuuming. He running the vinyl and shit around the yeah. crib while he cleaning up. He got my ass up moving and grooving with him. So shit, it really all just came into play with him. Okay. My, uh, my parents really put me into it. So and that's man. good, man. A lot of people don't hear that story with the parents influencing them to, you know, to get into music or education. Why? That's what's up, man. Now, from what I heard, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, you started out being a producer at one point. Is that correct? Well, I, I want to say I jumped into the avenue of being a producer. Uh, I got like a, a M Audio USB beat machine. This is when you know everything started transitioning to like the USB, you know, laptop computer and whatnot. And I went to tactile with just producing. I couldn't just sit there and learn the program. But uh, I had already been working on virtual DJ, and that's kind of how a lot of DJs start off. Well, I've started off as virtual DJ, and shit, it just progressed. And yeah, shit, now I'm, I'm hurt. Shit, I, I started chopping screw music. Uh -huh. I was in a couple of chopping screw coalitions. Okay. United and screw had my chance to, to deal with the chop stars. I couldn't do it. The uh, the uh, dudes was too fucking high. Couldn't afford that shit. So I just ventured off into going from being a house DJ to, to doing regular venues and clubs and shit. It's been working out so far. That's good. Now for the people that don't know back at home, let the folks know at home where you from. I'm from Dallas, Texas. Okay. Oak Cliff. Oak Cliff, Cliff, Texas, original Oak Cliff, America, over everything. Right on, right on. Now, Oak Cliff is making hella noise. Yellow Beezy, Trap Boy Freddy. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of people out of Oak Cliff making music and definitely hitting that global scene. Mm -hmm. Have you worked with any of those artists, Trap Boy Freddy, Yellow Beezy, at one point? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm actually with Sco and Go Music. It's DJ Deuce. Uh, shit, man. I, I actually started the process with Deuce on uh, the first, well, they're not country rap tunes, but it was a. Uh, what was that sec that the second mixtape? I designed the uh the cover for yellow, for yellow bees. Okay. The, uh, for which cover was that? Uh, light work. Oh, light work okay. One. I did light work one. I was behind a lot of the marketing, behind a lot of the graphics and shit like that. So already, so you triple threat, multi talented. You do design work and you DJ. Yes, sir. Now DJ Red, everybody saying. I mean, they artists are obviously trying to work with you, mm -hmm. but from my understanding, you booked all month. You booked yeah. up for some months. Yeah. At what point did that start happening in your career, man, when you booking up months? Uh, it actually just started. Like, I'm in my peak. Like, shit just actually started working out for me. I just been shit, just staying consistent, bro. That's, that's all, that's, that's really what's going on. I'm just being consistent, and me being consistent is just leading me to prosperity and blessings. Awesome, man. Are you under any paperwork, management, label, anything like that? Management, yeah, I just I just signed with Courtney Beeman under sidebar management. So yeah. Okay. And I, and I still have I still have my uh you know my uh my fun and work with school and go music. Uh -huh. So So how did the management the deal, how did that come about? The management deal came along maybe a year, a year ago or the year before. I did uh Dennis in Texas with Courtney Beeman and my big brother Gentry, the one Gentry. He uh, has a management company too. And uh we did Yellow Beezy, Little Wheel. Yeah, Yellow Bees and Lil' Wheel. Okay. Uh, Denison, Texas, they have like uh, kind of how Dallas has Prairie View and Grambling. They have a couple of football teams. They have a homecoming and they go at it. We had an after party and we just been rocking ever since. That's it should have kind of grew the relationship and whatnot. They seen how, how hectic and how positive and how consistent I am. And it just shit blossomed into that. Absolutely, man. That's what's up, man. Now, a lot of DJs, one of the most popular DJs that we hear a little about on the global scene, she's down with French Montana and the Coke Boys, is DJ Duffy. 
DJ Duffy. She does have a huge following as well. Is that the ultimate goal for you to possibly get behind one of these uh, mainstream artists and, and kind of be their assigned and designated DJ? That, that's that's a that's a goal. It, it is a goal, but my goal is to really create a uh, identity for Dallas because there's no complete identity for Dallas. Um, everybody's kind of copycatting and doing the same thing. Uh, a lot of the artists don't really know the business, so I'm really just trying to help the artists, you know, levitate and, and grow, get them a platform. You know, if they have music, I don't do like my other fellow DJs. Shout out to the OGs. I don't really charge artists for, for playing their music now. If it comes down to a campaign, yes, but I'm really just trying to put the city on the map. You can't be shit without your Man, that's wise words, man, from a decent man. A lot of people fail to realize that. And Dallas gets a lot of backlash about artists not helping each other, man. Yeah. Do you still see that today? Is that still going on today? It's it's a certain it's a certain level of help. The the, the people that don't have anything of the artists that don't have too much to to, to 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 pedestal off of, you know, have a background on, they, they need that that help. You know what I'm saying? And and the level that I'm in and the people that y'all see me dealing with on a weekly basis, especially at Prime, mm -hmm. you know, we all just shit. They all come together for a common purpose. You know what I'm saying? They all need help with this, need help with business. You know, don't know a certain thing, don't know what ASCAP, don't know what BMI is. You know, the people I have around me that's close to me, you know, we all just trying to, trying to uh, give each other knowledge. Okay, educating the people that's close to you. Yes, sir. And that's what's up. Now, Prime, you mentioned Prime. What nights are you at Prime DJing? I'm at Prime on Friday nights, Prime Bar. Okay. College nights right now. I'm on the patio. I'm looking to move to the inside eventually, but uh, I gotta find somebody that's, 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 you know what I'm saying, take town with the artists like I am. Because I'm real close with every artist. I don't know if that comes out on Fridays. Uh -huh. We do a contest every Friday. Every Friday, $500 contest. But we didn't really, uh, we didn't give away money this Friday. We really just kind of gave away some business efforts and things that folks need to know. Uh, part of the business that, that, that they don't know, excuse me. Right. So, no, absolutely. That's what's up, man. Educating the people around you. Now, how did the, I know Prime came up. You said you're DJing with them. Is it, how did that opportunity strike? Prime really happened with Blue Skin Blue and Exquisite e uh, Entertainment. Uh, Nene, we have uh, been working at a couple of spots. We were doing a... Uh, a uh, place called Blends Daiquiri Shop, and I think that's Addison. I'm not sure. Carrollton, Carrollton's in Carrollton, and Bluesy Blue. I met Bluesy Blue like last year, and uh, he introduced me to uh, Nene. And she's uh, the the booker at Prime. She does like the bookings, uh, booth bookings, you know, bottle service and whatnot. And uh, we just been working. You know, the, the first couple of situations she put me into, we made some paper off of it, but it wasn't. You know, it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It was pretty much just an agreement situation. And Prime pretty much came, you know, full surface after dealing with her, and, you know, her having her problems with the people that she was connected with, and she put me in that position. So it's just word of mouth and staying consistent and just, you know, creating that relationship. Right, 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 man. That's what we need a lot more of in Dallas, man. It's, it's definitely going to take us to the next level like these Atlantas, L.A.s, and these New Yorks. They're definitely sticking together, and, and they're, they're escalating, man. They're taking off, and they're getting that global ignition that they need. Yeah, that's because they got an identity. This city don't really have an identity. The only identity we really have as a whole is the artistry, like Yellow Bees, Trap Boy Freddy, God Rest His Soul, Sea Strolls. We don't really have... We, we have a bunch of platforms, but all the platforms don't hold a complete solid foundation. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and if they do hold a, a foundation, they're either burning bridges or something's not being done within that cycle of platforms. So right. I'm just trying to help create an identity for the city as well as the artistry. Okay. Are you doing mixtapes as well? Any artists that you cover in their mixtape? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got a couple of mixtapes coming up. I got one uh, called All For The Trunks. That'll be me. Another platform called Texas Starlist, they're based out of Austin, Texas. And uh, we're looking to kind of pick up Texas as a whole, not just one city as far as Dallas. Right now, they're, they're, they're working with Dallas, but really we're kind of like moving around, all around Texas, to kind of create that platform and, and make people recognize not only Dallas can shine, but we can shine as well. Right, right. Uh, and that's what's up, man, Lift in the state. Right now, in your opinion, man, who do you think the hottest in Dallas is, man? You give me a top five list of your personal artists. Like I said, you came across a couple artists and known artists. We obviously got the Yellow Bees, the Trap Boy Freddy. Any other artists that we sleeping on that we haven't heard about yet? Ooh. 
Definitely Shoes McGee. Of course, Shoes McGee. Uh, Hero D's, Mercury DMC. And these just independent artists because people say the same shit all the time. Like, those artists already got recognition. So, Shoes McGee, Mercury DMC, Hero D's. Uh, what else? TYE, he's already on now. Uh, Reese. Reese, you don't know Reese yet. He's bringing the city to him soon. Any other upcoming for DJs that you've seen and you say, man, he got something that I like. He remind me of me when I was starting out DJing. DJs, Ooh, Rudy Red. Shout out to DJ Rudy Red. She's she's hard as fuck. Goldilocks. Um, give me a minute. I'm trying. I'm trying to fest right on the spot. Uh, DJ Byron D. Byron D used to be Lil Runny's DJ. Okay. You know, back when Runny was in the early stages of the, the, all the flows, mixtapes. Right. So Byron D's making his his coming back up. Uh, DJ does it all. He's hard as fuck. Uh, Don Perion, shout out to Don Perion. He already got a huge platform already. Uh, Sammy Spins, DJ Sammy Spins. Can't forget my big brother DJ Unique, man. That's my dog, man. That's another DJ people need to look out for, man. Shout out to Plano, Texas. My boy putting on for the city, man. For his part of town, for Dallas, for Texas. Shout out to my boy Unique, man. Shit, it's a lot more to add, but they know who they are if they stay connected with so. Right on, right on. DJ Johnny Red, man. What can we expect in the future from you, my man? Shit, in the future, mixtapes. I got a few mixtapes coming. I got a couple of collab collaborative mixtapes coming. A couple of collaborative projects coming. I can't really speak on them right now, but I got those coming. I got a couple of singles I'm working on. I can speak on them. Uh, just more shows. Just staying consistent. You know, if it happens, it happens. If I connect with that artist, you know, that I can move around with. But I've been kind of doing shows already that's big enough to where it's giving me that fan base and it's allowed me to spread. So, uh, yeah, I'm just, just staying consistent. I know, I don't really know what the hell I'm doing, mm -hmm. but I must be doing something right. Yeah. Because <laughs> I got y'all fucked with me. I got people dealing with me, salute me, respect me, you know. Right. And, excuse me, I'm humble. Humble to the most high, so. And shit, I'm just pushing forward. As long as I'm pushing forward, good things keep coming out of it. I don't really have a huge goal, but I know the goal is to feed my family and feed everybody around me. So, All right. That's what it is. Man. That's what it is. J DJ Johnny Rip, you know we fuck with you for sure, for sure, for sure. Let the folks at home let them know where they can find all your streaming platforms, social media. You can look me up on djjohnnyrip.com. I finally got my website up, djjohnnyrip.com. Everything DJ Johnny Rip, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat is Johnny Rip the DJ. You know, shout out to all my OGs. I know you didn't say shout out to nobody, but shout out to all my DJ OGs. Everybody that's holding me down. Everybody that's giving me respect. Respect to the most high. You know. Already. Working, Shout out to everybody. And if you watch this, you know I fuck with you and I know you fuck with me, so it's all love. Already. Shout out to y'all, man. Already. It's all love, man. DJ Johnny Rib, JG, Money Mocha, Title Kings. We in the motherfucking building, man. It's all love, Johnny Rib. We appreciate it, my boy. Thank you, bro. Already. We out.